Did you know that you could fly without a proper government ID? I found out today that is a possibility. So when I got to the counter to check in my bag in Sacramento, I didn't have my driver's license. So luckily I had my Costco executive membership and they'll take that. I've definitely heard the urban legend that you could fly without an ID, but today I actually made it true. I showed them all my credit cards, just random stuff. They patted me down like crazy and, but it all worked. At least it wasn't international. So domestic flights, it didn't even take that long, so. Now I'm on the hunt for oversized baggage. There it is. So I'm debating whether to build my bike right now or wait for my pickup. I think I'm gonna build the, the bike right now. If I can get the wheels on, I can go put it in a bike stand over there. Just looking like a crazy person, building my bike up in front of the airport. So that's the first part, just getting the bike assembled. And yes, I did go back to the RockShox suspension. It's time for a change, time to explore some new stuff and see how it feels. I can't be an expert unless I ride on a bunch of different stuff. The other thing I screwed up today was telling Alexander that I landed at one when really I land at four. So he had a group ride planned and that totally blew up the entire group ride, so whoops. So I've always been more of an over planning, worrying type person and I've let that slip. I've kind of let that go over the past couple years or so and uh, this is where it has let it slip a little too far and now it's time to time to go back to being a little more uptight and uh, making sure I have my photo ID in my wallet and making sure I know when my plane actually lands. Getting a little wet out here. I'm glad I built up my bike before this all happened. You can't park here! <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, buddy? Good to see you again. <laughs> 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 My little slice of life right here. More than enough. More than enough. <laughs> Look at I, I just cleaned up all this for you. I was like, do you need more gear? Majestic. Yeah, good. So now we gotta fold down the Evoc bag, kind of manipulate it to get in between the bikes. <laughs> so we're in Atlanta. And this is the start. Welcome to Sheila. Right here, right now. Back at it. Redemption baby. Redemption 17. Alexander and me, we I got a one-way ticket, and now we're just gonna mosey our way along and have some fun. And that's about all we know. Exactly. That's, that's why we can't exactly. say more. Yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna mosey. <laughs> so hopefully you've seen stuff on Instagram and Facebook and whatever to kind of keep up with our travels, because these videos will always be a little delayed. So onward ho, baby. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like driving in big cities, dude? stresses me out, man. <laughs> Drove on like an eight lane highway for the first time in a long time in, in Atlanta. It's just like, no wonder, you know, a lot of things about cities make sense when you think about, you know, high stress people coming or living there. Just agitated. A lot of agitation. The rat race. I'd have road rage if I lived yeah, here, I think. Definitely. I would definitely have road rage. Get the fuck out of the way! Uh, it's clearing up. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> Where are we stopping first? Food, baby. Gotta get some, hey, Seth would, Seth would uh, agree. We gotta get some, some Mexican. Mexicana. Some Atlanta special. <laughs> Slick willies. Both wearing our Teespring shirts. I have this thing where I just like, you know, I get a shirt I like and I just, I wear it a lot. Me too. Like, Me too. The same one. Yeah. <laughs> Run it out. That was a great meal. The power went out a few times, it got really smoky in there. <laughs> and we just went to Publix, loaded up on some random stuff, Lara bars and muscle milk. The chocolate. Of course. <laughs> Chocolat. <laughs> now we're going over to uh, a friend of a friend's house. <laughs> no, it's my good friend, but he just, 
He's his, not home. He's not there right now. Only uh, his parents are. His home. parents are. <laughs> <laughs> Spend the night. Get this thing started in the basement. We've got a really nice basement set up here. Yeah. I'm on Alexander's Paco pad. We'll talk more about that later <laughs> once we actually get to camping. Yeah. But yeah, for now. Yeah, isn't it's, it funny it's time, how the Paco pad? The Paco pad when you're somewhere like this kind of seems like it's like oh man. You know, it's not the best sleeping situation, but no. when you get to the camping, it's like, Yes, oh! that's luxury. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is going to be very nice. All right, bedtime for me. So it was raining like crazy last night, so we're probably not going to get a ride in today, but we're going to go into the city, go to Atlanta, REI. Right. His, Anniversary sale, baby. His old uh, stomping grounds and stuff, so we'll have a little adventure today. We'll still have some fun. And go see my little brother. Nice. Yeah. Eddie Spaghetti. Eddie Spaghetti. <laughs> REI time. He's got his eye on some sh new shorts. I've only, I've only got two two pair of riding shorts. Yeah. So I think it's necessary. 25% off. Not bad at all. That was a lot of shopping. We both got a bunch of stuff. Have to show it off later. Do not ride without a helmet. So we just stopped off at where Alexander's brother stand to pick up the old dirt jumper. It's a rescue mission. It was in storage. Looking good. All right. The fam's back together. <laughs> oh, it's so good. This is the enjoy. It's like spongy, sticky. You just grab it, tear off a piece, grab some food, Ciao. That was very good. Super satisfied. Awesome recommendation. Okay, so I'll show off what I got at REI. Got a hydro flask for the road. Which color did you get? Black. What? Yeah, I put my stick. They, they had like a bajillion colors. Yeah, I like black. I can put my stickers on it. Classic, oh, yeah. that's true. Headlamp for 15 bucks, not bad. And I got some some of these shoes because it's going to be very humid and I'm going to be sweating my butt off. So I think uh, some salt stick is uh, good. I got three of these, but uh, I've already ate two of them, <laughs> so they're pretty good little snack. All right, he's he's whipping out everything he got. I got a bag of goodies. It was the anniversary sale today, so Alexander was saying he he'll shop once a year. Yeah, and I don't get like what he shopping, needs. so you just go get a couple really good things and then use them a lot. Yep. I don't know how I lost. I used to have a whole bunch of now. <laughs> I remember. I lost them all. So, got to now. Yep, new stickers to put on them. They wanted to pick up this. No more bungee cord for me, baby. <laughs> I have hip straps. Yep. The bungee, I don't know if you, if they, everyone remembers, but yeah, you're last couple rides, I was bungee in it. I had I a bungee cord just strapped across my stomach, holding my pack on. So, I'm excited for this. It's pretty haggard. Also lost my headlamp, so I had to get a headlamp. Super important. Nice 300 lumens. Very, very bright. Most comfortable boxers you'll ever find anywhere. Ex officio. Also antimicrobial, so great for camping. For long-term use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a pair of the REI ones as well. Nice. Also very good. A little bit cheaper. What other goodies we got in here? I picked up another pair of riding shorts. Trying out the REI ones. I've never done it. And they fit they fit pretty well. They're super light. Yeah. I like that. And the uh, the chamois didn't look half bad, so they were also on like really good sale, so nice. Better better than the really expensive ones. Huh. And then one pair of shorts. I generally just have one really good pair of shorts that I basically wear anytime I'm not riding. Just and these are them. I like vertical pockets. Yep. You can undo them and do them with just one hand generally, so. That's it, I think. Yeah, it's a good haul. I'm yeah, that was stoked. good. Good set. Oh, yeah, the water. Oh, yeah. You're most excited most about excited that. Most excited item. Boom. Jug. Seven gallon jug with. I could use this thing to shower. Yeah. Boom, a spout. You take, you take the spout off. Yeah. Put it on this side. Screws in there, and then you just screw this back on. And you Solid. Got, yeah, that is awesome. 
So excited. Yeah, because he's got a, you, you guys have seen, but you got a bunch of water jugs yeah, in your car. Yeah, the whole back of my car is like, there's, you know, just enough room width for a water jug left. So I just line the whole thing with it. And this is about that width. And uh, we'll hold like the equivalent of seven of those. And then yeah. I don't have to keep buying them and then yeah. reuse this. A little, little more safe too with the BPA right. free and, yeah, and, and the heat and everything. <laughs> Chance actually, when we were cleaning out my car, he, uh, there were some of those same water bit jugs back there from when he was in the car with me last year. And he looked at me, he's like, dude, that is not healthy. And he just threw it away. Yeah. <laughs> For your own good. <laughs> yeah. So this will be great. Binder. I, oh, there's. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. So even though we spent two hours at REI earlier, we did forget something. <laughs> the brain bucket. Yep, need a helmet, so we're heading back. Just here picking up some gas. First fill up of the trip. Kind of notable. It's uh, it's Brian's turn. <laughs> we uh, Easiest way to keep track of the gas is just swap off. You just go, one person fills up, next person fills up. Uh, people who get stuck filling up in the city, tough luck. Uh, but yeah, doing a lot of shopping today. I'm figuring out Brian's camera, it's pretty cool. There's like a screen right here that I can look at. Very nifty. You did a hell of a job with this wax on the car. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did, did, you, did I miss more? <laughs> I was in a hurry. At least you did it. I was in a hurry. <laughs> You guys will have seen this by this time uh, from my videos, but I, I took care of Sheila the other day. I turned her back into a princess. But apparently I missed a few spots uh, spots with the wax. What can you do? She's great inside though. Look how, look how clean she is. She's never this clean. Well, road trip's already begun, so naturally there's stuff, stuff already in different places. <laughs> Putting Brian to work again. <laughs> Oh, I turned this off. Goodbye. <laughs> She's fully fed. Yummy. Petrol. <laughs> Gas is incredibly cheap. It was two dollars eighteen cents, and in California, it is how much? When I was in San Francisco the other day, it was three fifty nine. I think. Brutal. <laughs> I specifically remember crossing over from Utah to California and seeing the price almost immediately double. Yeah. I was really bummed because I needed gas and I had waited <laughs> one exit and then I got to California. It's like, boom, <laughs> extra dollar twenty-five per yeah. gallon. Welcome to California. Huge mistake. Bend over. <laughs> so we, we couldn't find a helmet. Bummer. <laughs> the one, Gotta the ride one. with the cracked helmet. Yep. So don't try this at home. He'll, he'll get one. We'll get one. That's one of the goals of the road trip. I don't know. I call that a goal. <laughs> it's one of the the I two. Mean, it's gonna happen, but yeah, yeah. I mean, might just go order it online and send it to Seth's house. Yeah, not a bad idea. So for you guys on Patreon, we're gonna do our best to get these videos uploaded. I the schedule is gonna be quite funky, so we're like leaving ourselves like a a week, a week long buffer almost for like where for my YouTube. norm. Yeah, exactly for YouTube stuff. But Patreon, I'll try to get it up early, but. Please forgive me if if it's kind of wonky. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. So, Let FYI, yeah. So the goal in all of this, we've got a couple goals. We've got a couple missions. That for me, one thing I'd love to see is for Alexander to get up to fifty thousand subscribers. And I think at the end of yeah. this, it could happen because we're gonna basically try to do every other day. So. What video will be on my channel, then the next day a video will be on his channel, and then my channel, then his channel. And we're just gonna go back and forth. Ping pong and back exactly. and forth. Exactly. And there will be days where we miss it because the upload schedule is gonna be weird and the internet's gonna be weird. And weather. Weather's gonna be weird. Everything's gonna be weird, but we're gonna just do our best. And even this video right now, there's no writing in this video, but I think it's still gonna be very fun and enjoyable and telling a story. The number one thing when people ask about videos, like, like when they need help with their videos, I always tell them, tell a story. So this is the story of Alexander getting back to full strength, and the getting, running. getting comfortable on the trails that he knows. Gotta get my confidence back. Yes, and then showing me, showing me these trails that he basically grew up on and yeah. his first mountain bike experiences. So that's what we're aiming for. And oh man. No better way to do all that than start it off with your buddy on yeah. a road trip. Yep. 
gonna be damn good. I wonder how many trails we're gonna get to ride yeah. on the road trip. I'm, I'm like, I've been thinking about that, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, we got like almost 30 days, right? Yeah, I bought a, I bought a one-way ticket. I kind of want to be home by uh, end of July. June. Yeah, there's, there's other stuff possibly popping up, so it's a, uh, we're winging it. How many trails do you guys think we can ride <laughs> in 27 days? There we're go. gonna be trying to smash it. Yeah. So be on the lookout for the videos. We're gonna be on a YouTube page near you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Turn on notifications, smash that like smash button. Smash that like button. <laughs> Hit it. God damn. Rock and roll. So we're setting up a little live stream, which you guys have already seen. It, hopefully, if you haven't seen the live stream yeah, right. of us announcing that when you we're, see this, <laughs> yeah, exactly, that you're way behind. So hopefully, you've Catch already up. seen it. Yeah. So we're we're trying to plan it out. We're about to fool all you guys. I bet you didn't see this one coming. But we're going live. We're going live. It worked that time. <laughs> oh no! No, I had it turned the wrong way. Is it gonna be this way? No, it is! Stopping. Yeah, just kill it, do it again. Gotta go this way. Thumbnail. It's all about the thumbnail. <laughs> Behind the scenes. This is, stop it! <laughs> oh wait, that's actually really good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're pointing? <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> I love it. All right. I may abandon quality issues. Abandon stream? Never. All right. I already got some people in. It says two, so that might be me and like one other person. What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? Who all is here? We're in Georgia. What's up, Adrian? Hey, what's up, Adrian? Yo, yo, what up, Shred Minister? Hey! What the? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Where'd this guy come? All right, that live stream was excellent. Really good fun. Great connecting with you guys. So tomorrow we'll do some riding. So stay tuned. Woo, riding. <laughs> get on the bike. Heading out to Alabama. Right? Alabama. Alabama. Don't get Alabama and Arkansas confused. That would be a bad thing. So we're gonna hit up Bama. Never been to Bama. Gonna buy some Bama stuff. Roll Tide. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the trail.